Hello guys and welcome back to episode 15 of my Manchester United career mode and as you can see I've had a loan offer for Wilkeen which I will accept from Gillingham but anyway this episode is going to be slightly different it's going to be a part 2 episode and the reason being, the reason being is, is because I won't be showing my full Premier League games I have coming up I'll be showing the highlights of my game versus Fulham my European Cup match versus Real Valladolid, FA Cup game versus Hull, and my two Premier League games versus Everton and, and Southampton. It will be only highlights of these games. And in part two, I'll be showing the full game highlights of my Capital One Cup tie versus Tottenham Hotspur, which is the final. So I'll be showing the full game of that. So a slightly different episode, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. And as you can see, we're now the transfer deadline day. So I'm going to show you guys the transfer deadline day, see if anything interesting happens. Uh, I can see one transfer actually. Darren Bent to Arsenal for 8 million. That's kind of a surprising transfer. And Hamshik to Barcelona. So two big transfers actually. I'm not sure that the transfer deadline day, but still be transfers in January and Borussia Dortmund have offered me 11.5 million for Kabay and no I don't want to accept that I like Kabay he's been a good sign I think and Gomez to Southampton hmm that's an interesting transfer as well So yeah guys, I have a lot of fixtures to show in this video. Five games in total. And then in the part two, it'll be the full game versus Tottenham Hotspur in the final. So hopefully, I'll get my first silverware of the season. Bruce Dortmund keen on signing Diego. That's, that's another big transfer. And as you can see on the right hand side, I'm still 10 points clear of Man City. And the transfer deadline day is now finished. Just a quick update on a contract offer from Turkey. And obviously I didn't want to accept it because I don't want an international job. But anyway, time for my highlights of my game versus Fulham in the Premier League. So I've played Fulham quite a lot in the last, say, two three weeks. My, uh, my Capital One Cup tie in my two legs and now the Premier League game versus Fulham. So, to get a win in the next three, next three Premier League games, that'll be nice. And in the 30th minute game, half hour mark, Van Persie, good bit of skill and a great finish. He'd been getting a bit of stick in the, uh, the press actually, because he was actually uh, on a bit of a drought for Van Persie standards. He didn't score for, I think maybe five, six games in the league, something like that. Maybe, it might be even back. Might even be less than that, I have no idea, but they were giving a bit of stick in the press, so so yeah, add that to the press. That was a great finish as well, actually, on his uh, right foot. And 35 minutes gone, an absolutely crazy pass by Chris Bed, and even worse header by Richardson. Valencia does well to read the situation. Good bit of skill and strength, that's great strength. Good save. And an, oh, how did Van Persie hit the post there? Open goal. You just score. Your confidence is high, and you go and miss that. That is, that is shit. But anyway, that was the end of the half. One nil. Good scoreline. weren't really a great performance, but to go and one nil up away from home in the Premier League, it's a good, it's a good scoreline. And Fulham decided to make a change before the start of the half. They decided to bring on Simon Davis. And Valencia's on the ball. I'll try to get away from the defender. Play a little pass to Rooney. To Kagawa. To Van Persie. And it's a terrible defensive clearance. And my passing was not as good as previous games, and the ball is cleared away. And in the 80th minute, 
So unlucky. Hit the post there. I lost the ball in the middle of the park. Terrible. Silly uh, play from Michael Carrick. Silver plays a little pass into I think it was Simon Davis and he was so unlucky he hit the post and go wide. But from the goal kick, Chris Morland has the ball, gives it to Raphael. Young plays it back to Raphael, gives it to Kagawa, to Hernandez, plays a little pass to Carrick. Carrick plays a nice little through ball to Ashley Young. It's a good cross, cleared away as far as Kagawa. Good effort and a good save by Swartz. He's another good goalkeeper in this game as well. Makes so many good saves. Just use up the time that remains. Substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. And from the corner, it's cleared away, it away and out of danger. And that was the end of the game. So pretty poor game, but I won a match, which is the main thing. Van Persie's back on the score sheet in the in the league, which is good. And De Gea was man in the match. Even though, I don't know how, it didn't really create much for them, but the hair was man the match. Okay, now it's the highlights of my first leg European Cup game versus Real Valladolid. And I know it isn't the greatest of fixtures, but hopefully as the tournament progresses like when I get to the semi-finals and stuff I will, I will play against better teams and hopefully I will get a good team in the final but this game was actually a crazy game of football as you'll see in the highlights just an absolute crazy game but in the first couple of minutes of the game Nani plays a pass to Van Persie good effort and a good save from the goalkeeper and from the corner Nani takes it Vidic couldn't quite get the power on the header and the goalkeeper collects it. And the 15th minute of the match, Real Valladolid on their first attack of the game actually. Good save from De Gea. There's a big scramble in the penalty box. And there's a good pass coming up there and a good finish. It was actually poor defending from me because I had a couple of opportunities to clear the ball with Nani as you can see there. But I'm tackled and Everard it was poor defender from Evra because he let his man run behind him and it was a good finish as well. So I was a bit annoyed because I was dominating the game and poor defending let him in. But from the restart, Nani does well to get away from his man and look at this for a finish. That is absolutely brilliant from Nani. Great goal. But I'm surprised nobody closed him down. I mean, look at all that space he has to run into. And then in the last minute, he just curls it into the top corner. So poor defender from Real Valladolid, but well played, Nani. And then, as you'll see, in the 21st minute of the game, Nani has the ball, plays a little pass to Van Persie. Van Persie does well to turn. He plays a little pass to Rooney. Rooney does well to turn. And a good finish, a very good finish, actually. And that's two goals in quick succession. So... From 1-0 down to make it 2-1 in the space of a couple of minutes, well, that's uh, that's actually really good. And I have now I now have two away goals, which is very important in Europe, as I'm pretty sure you're aware. And that was half-time, 2-1. But yeah, away goals in Europe are so important. Especially two away goals, anyway. And in the 48th minute of the game, Van Persie has the ball. He dribbles with the ball. And sees a run on Nani. Plays a little good pass to Nani. Nani does well. Comes inside on his left foot. And again, a brilliant finish into the far corner. 3-1. And Nani decides to upset the crowd. You see the crowd, they're all getting pissed off with him. But yeah, good goal by Nani. Good little turn. Coming on his left foot and a very good finish into the far corner. So three away goals, 3-1. That's a, that's a good scoreline. And it was starting to look like a very good scoreline. And I was hoping I could add, add to that and get some more goals. But in the 61st minute, that's a good turn there and a good finish. So I was a bit annoyed that 
I let him walk through me that easily, but if you see in the replay, he does a little turn. That little turn right there, it just completely took me out of the game, and then, well, that's actually an excellent finish for on a playoff. And that was 3 2, so absolutely crazy game of football. Great entertainment, loads of, loads of goals, some good football. And in the 69th minute, Van Persie with a good effort and a good stop from the goalkeeper. And from the corner, Nani takes it, crosses it in. The ball's cleared away as far as Rooney, and he is so unlucky with that effort. Great effort, just couldn't quite keep it down and bend it into the far corner. But I decided to make three substitutes to freshen it up a little bit. And in the 90th minute of the game, Hernandez plays a little one-two with Van Persie, and that's an absolutely brilliant finish. And as you're going to see in the next couple of seconds, well not seconds, uh, say the next minute or so, you're going to see that this is the 90th minute now. Okay, that's one goal. Okay, that's 4-2. I thought that's it. The referee's in the blows whistle. Still hasn't blown his whistle yet. Real Valladolid have the ball. Lose the ball. Van Persie picks it up. Gives it to Ashley Young. The defender pass back to the goalkeeper. Awful clearance. Kabai wins the ball back in yet. Young with an absolutely quality goal to make it 5-2. So I was like, okay. That's five away goals. 5-2 on aggregate. Going into the home tie. 5-2 up. And I thought, that's a great scoreline. So I thought, that's got to be full time now, surely. But the referee, still not blown his whistle yet. And I actually thought that was going out of play for a throw-in. But he kept it in. Then awful defending. Crosses it in. And it gives a penalty. I mean, how the fuck is that a penalty? I don't think that was a penalty. But he gave a penalty. And from the penalty, he just slots it in the bottom corner. So, absolutely crazy. I can't understand why the referee allowed that much time to be played. But, crazy game of football, 5-3. You don't normally see this many goals in the European Cup match, but, so that's a good game of football. Yeah, good, great game. And he blew his whistle, finally blew the final whistle. So, 5-3, great game. Loads of goals. Absolutely awful defending from both teams. But, it was very good entertainment. And Van Persie and Nani were actually joint man in the match. But I would have given it to Nani because Nani was, without a doubt, the best player on the pitch. He was absolutely outstanding. And now it's time for my FA Cup game versus Hull City. And in this game... I decided to make a few changes. I have Jones, Koscielny, Ferdinand and Butner as my defence. With Young, Fletcher, Kabai, Cleverley, Welbeck and Hernandez. So, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's a weakened side because there's still some very good players out there. But it's not my strongest eleven. But anyway, from the first couple of minutes, how I have an attack and I clear the ball. And in the eighth minute, Young has the ball. Turns, gives it to Hernandez, plays the pass to Kabai, good effort and a good stop with the goalkeeper with his, with his feet. And in the 20 minute, 20th minute of the game, sorry, Fletcher has the ball, gives it to Hernandez. Hernandez shoots and I've got to say, that really is shocking goalkeeping. You know, it's not, it's not a difficult save, it's not... He's not at full stretch. He could have just pushed it out for a corner, but I mean, as you can see in the replay, that look at that, that is awful goalkeeping. But he, he decided to push the ball back into his goal instead of pushing it away from goal. But Hernandez, he had a shot and he scored. So if you don't shoot, you don't score, I suppose. And then from the restart, for some reason, he tried to hit it from there. But and that was half time, guys. And uh, not a lot really happened to be honest. It was a pretty poor game. Nice to be one nil up. And from the restart of the second half, Jones has the ball, gives it to Young. Jones passes it back to Young. Young crosses it in and Kiba collects it. So, nearly a good start of the second half, but couldn't quite... Uh, sorry, Welbeck couldn't quite get on the end of it. But 
Young has the ball, gives it to Hernandez, good turn and a good finish. It was that first touch from Hernandez that made that goal. And Young did well to hold on to the ball and play a nice little pass to Hernandez. So that's 2-0. Hernandez with both goals, so it's good to see Hernandez get on the score sheet twice. And look at that, great finish with his left foot. And I decided to make a sub straight after that goal. And I decided to take off goodbye for Nick Powell. So I wanted to give Nick Powell a bit of experience. Well, they're still leading. And they've decided to go for a fresh player in the hope of quick ball. And in the 70th minute of the game, Young has the ball edge of the box, has a shot, good save from the goalkeeper, Butner with a follow up and a good save again. So good good save from the goalkeeper, he did well actually. And cleverly with a corner and it's clear as far as Powell with, and Powell with an absolutely terrible shot on goal. And that was the end of the game guys, so another win, I'm going through to the next round which is good. Hernandez with two goals. Uh, it's a game I expected to win, so no surprises or anything like that. And Hernandez was man of the match, which is good to see. And Koscielny played very well as well, actually. Had a 9.1 rating, which is good to see. So, yeah. The FA Cup, I go marching on. And now it's time for my Premier League game versus Southampton. And it's at Old Trafford. And I am playing in the snow again. And I've decided to go with my strongest team. Because I don't want any slip-ups in the Premier League. I want to win all my games. And try and get the league wrapped up as soon as possible. So I can concentrate on other competitions. And in the first couple of minutes I nearly get Rooney in but the defender blocks it and he plays a long ball over the top and the ball just rolls out for a goal kick and in the 10th minute of the game Carrick has the ball plays a little pass to Kagawa does well to turn good strike and a good save from the goalkeeper so good football but just couldn't quite get the finish and from the corner I actually thought Chris Mullen was going to get that but it was a good defensive header and in the 17th minute of the game, when Percy plays the ball to Rooney, the defender does well to read it. An absolutely shocking goal clearance from the goalkeeper. And Percy gives it to Rooney, a good bit of skill and a great finish with his left foot into the far corner. So 90 minutes in, good start and a good goal from Rooney. It was getting a little bit frustrating as well guys because I was dominating, I had all the ball, I just couldn't quite get in behind Southampton. But because of the, the uh, mistake from the goalkeeper, I got in behind him and made it 1-0. And from the restart, Southampton have the ball and Lana gets tackled by a brilliant block from Vidic. And that's an absolutely excellent defender from Vidic. And from the corner, which is taken by Davis, the header is not quite powerful enough and De Gea collects it. But throws it out as far as Van Persie. Rooney has the ball. Plays a little through pass to Nani. Nani runs with the ball. He turns. Plays it back to Rooney. Rooney comes inside. And he is so unlucky. Look at this look. That is so unlucky. Great effort. Just couldn't quite bend it into the far corner. But yeah. That was good football again for me. Good counter attack. Just couldn't quite get the finish. That the actual play deserved. But in the 36th minute of the game, Van Persie has a shot which is blocked as far as Kagawa. Valencia shoots and a great save from the goalkeeper. In these really slippery conditions, the goalkeeper did absolutely brilliantly to get down and save that. And from the corner, Vidic with a header. I couldn't believe it wasn't a goal and it was a corner for some reason. I actually thought Vidic headed it straight out for a, for a goal kick, sorry, but there was a touch on it from the defender. And the ball's cleared away as far as Vidic. Vidic gives it to Rooney. The ball's blocked and Van Persie was offside. 
I'm not sure he was. He, I'm not sure he was offside, but the linesman thought he was. And then from the free kick, Rafael has the ball, gives it to Valencia, plays a little one-two with Rooney. But Kagawa, I mean, sorry, Carrick has the ball, crosses it in, and Kagawa, great header, but again, an excellent save. Kagawa with a second chance. To be honest, I should have brought that down and just placed it into the corner, but for some reason I took it first time, which was a bit of a mistake from me, but that was half time, one nil. I play well that half, but I was a bit disappointed that I didn't add some more tally, but I can't really I can't really fault the uh, the the performance because it was an excellent performance. And in the fifty second minute of the game, Van Persie has the ball. Gives it to Valencia. Valencia returns the pass and a great save again from the goalkeeper. Then I make a sub. And I take off Rooney for Danny Welbeck. I put a goodbye for Kagawa. And that was the only two subs I made. Thank you very much, Alan. Some options on the bench for the home team. And then from the goalkeeper kick, I win the ball back. Play it to Van Persie. Rooney has the ball, gives it back to Van Persie. Good little touch to Carrick, and again, a great save from the goalkeeper. So, if it wasn't for the goalkeeper, I would, you know, I would have won this game by a massive scoreline. But the goalkeeper, to be fair to him, he played brilliantly. And from the corner, taken by Nani, nothing came from it, and the ball was clear from danger. And in the last couple of minutes of the game in the 89th minute the cross comes in it's cleared away and they win a free kick and Southampton decides to make a sub and from the free kick that Ramirez takes he whips it in and that is so look at that I got so lucky there I'm not going to lie guys my heart was in my mouth I absolutely shit myself when that that ball rolled across the goal line and from the throw in I win the ball back play it to Nani and some, I need to give the ball well actually I did give the ball back to him I put more pressure on myself from poor play and the ball's cleared and I, and I actually thought that was going to be a penalty. It, to, be, to be honest, it probably should have been a penalty. So I got very lucky there. But the performance of the first half, I should have been way in front. But anyway, it was a good result. Another win. Which I'm, I'm a step close to win that title. Okay, now it's time to show the highlights of my Premier League game versus Everton. And in this game, I decided to make a few changes to my team. Because I was preparing for the... Capital One Cup final versus Tottenham. So I didn't want to lose any of my first team players because I really want to win that cup. So, well, I want to win every cup I play in. So, but against Everton, it's a bit of a risk because they're a really good side, Everton. So, I had to make sure that I was fully focused with a, I wouldn't say understrength team because, let's be fair, it's not, it's not a bad team that I'm playing. But anyway, in the 11th minute of the game, Ashley Young has the ball, puts a great cross in, good header by Cleverly, good save from Howard, but bad news, Tom Cleverly is injured and he broke his ankle. So that's awful, awful news for Tom Cleverly. And it's not good for me because I was actually trying to use Tom Cleverly a lot more from now until the end of the season. So that's probably three months out of action so I decided to bring on Nick Powell and I put Nick Powell in the middle Darren Fletcher to the right and Ashley Young on the left so I was absolutely gutted to lose Tom Cleverley and he's broke his ankle which is an absolutely awful injury but from the corner Ashley Young takes it and the header's over from Chris Smalling and there's another corner actually Young takes the corner again plays it short this time to Hernandez he comes inside, plays a pass to Kabai. Kabai gives it to nobody actually. Kabai's tackled. 
but it's one back. Fernand has the ball, plays a pass to Danny Wilbeck, gives it to Ashley Young, and a absolutely awful strike from Ashley Young, way, way wide. But really, really pissed off about Tom Clever getting injured. But in the 20th minute, good cross by Darren Fletcher and Hernandez. I mean, that is absolutely, look at that, that is absolutely awful. I mean, he headed that on the top of his head. All he had to do is just on his forehead into the far corner, and that's it. But in the 45th minute of the game, look at that passing, absolutely shocking. Uh, Pau has the ball, gives it to Hernandez. Good turn and a good finish by Hernandez. So he redeemed himself, but it was an absolutely shocking, shocking header. But good finish that time. Made no mistake, come inside on his left foot and a quality finish into the far corner. So 1-0 up against Everton. It was a tough game, actually. They, they defended very deep, so it was hard to get in behind them, but I finally broke the deadlock. And that header there, Tom Cleverley, real bad news. Absolutely gutted to lose Tom Cleverley for that long as well. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to probably be three months. But from the restart, Young has the ball, crosses it in, and Danny Welbeck this time. I mean, what is going on with my players' headers? They're, they're, they're shit heading the ball. I mean, look at that. He has to score. And I was absolutely dominating Everton. Seven shots to their one. So I was really annoyed that I couldn't, I couldn't convert one of these chances. And if it, oh, sorry, nothing happened there. I don't know why I even played that replay. But anyway, in the 58th minute of the game, Hernandez has the ball, comes inside on his favourite right foot, and he smashes it into the far corner. Great finish from Hernandez. Two nil. An hour played, and that should seal the game. So, against Everton, that's a good result because they are such a hard team to break down sometimes. Especially when they play a deep line at Everton, they just. They're really hard to break down. But I decided to make a sub to freshen it up a little bit. So I bring off goodbye, bring on Paul Scholes, and Johnny Evans for Rio Ferdinand. And that was it, just to get Johnny Evans some minutes on the pitch again because he's another defender that's been out for a long time so it's good to give him some minutes on the pitch and give Rio Fernand a bit of a rest. And in the 80th minute of the game, my final attack of the match, Skulls has the ball, shows good strength, good strike and a good save from Tim, Tim Howard at his near post. And from the corner, Ashley Young takes it and the ball's cleared away from danger. And that was the end of the game, guys. So, 2 0, good win. Um, I'm a step close to win that title now as well, which is, which is great. But, slightly different video this time, guys. But I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in part two of this episode.